Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Tumbling with Savannah. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this, um, I don't even know what you call it. Um, uh, I just, I don't even know what to call this. Um, but I'm going to show you how I made it. Um, I am a little bit under the weather today. I have some seasonal allergies. So if I sound a little bit funny, that is why. But yeah, we're going to get into how we make this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Real quick, I wanted to show you where this inspiration came from. Um, I just found these images on Pinterest, and this is what inspired um, the Tumblr that you're going to see today. Okay, so I'm starting off with a 20 ounce skinny that I've already prepped and spray painted and we're going to go in with the epoxy method today. Um, I'm using about 5 mLs of epoxy and I'm going to just get that on the tumbler, um, smooth it out with a gloved hand. Um, I prefer the epoxy method to any other methods, especially when I'm doing just like one color of glitter. Um, it just goes on so much easier for me and I don't know, I just prefer the epoxy method, but we're going to get our, um, epoxy smoothed all over the tumbler, um, and make sure there's no streaks or anything like that. And then we're going to apply our glitter and I used earth odyssey, odyssey. I, I don't think I'm saying that right. Earth odyssey from, um, Mr. Noller's glitters and I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the tumbler and yeah. So after I got that all coated, I tapped off the excess and then I'm going to take my piece of paper or parchment paper or whatever, whatever you have, and you're going to roll up your cup um, just to flatten down your chunky glitter. I was using a chunky and irregular cut glitter. So this is very important and it's going to help me out later on when I go to epoxy this and I won't have to do as much as many coats or sand very much later on. Um, I definitely recommend doing this. If you guys were to do this with like um, Mod Podge or a glitter glue like that, wait until your Mod Podge dries completely before you do that. Um, but I use the epoxy method so I can go in right after um, and not have to wait for that epoxy to dry. So now I'm going to take some different colored alcohol inks and I'm going to take a makeup sponge and just kind of press them onto that raw glitter. I didn't seal this or anything like that. I'm just taking my inks and I'm just going to pat it um, just all over the tumbler wherever I feel like it's going to look good at. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Um, we're going to be covering up a lot of it anyway. I just wanted some color to shine through. Um, but yeah. This is what I did.
after about 10 minutes of struggling to get that ink on there, I finally just gave up and just started pouring the ink directly onto the tumbler and then patting it out. And that works a whole lot better than just putting it on the makeup sponge first. Um, so definitely save, your guys so save yourself some time and just go ahead and throw the ink on there and pat it out with a sponge. Um, I think that would be a lot quicker than how I was doing it in the beginning. Once I was happy with my ink placement, I let this dry. Um, I think I let it dry overnight. Um, if your epoxy coat is already dry, then you probably just need to wait like an hour or two for your inks to dry before you go into your next epoxy coat. But yeah, let it dry. And then um, if you want to seal it, you can. And then go in with your next coat of epoxy. So this first coat was kind of light. I was um, didn't have very much left over. I was doing a bunch of cups at once. Um, but your first coat, you're probably going to want to do probably about 20 mls and then right after that first coat dried i went in with a second of about 15 mls i sanded it um after that second coat dried and then applied another thin coat um for my third layer And the reason why I did a third coat um, on and did it so thin was because I was going in with some black mica powder that I mixed into some epoxy. And this is where we're going to do like our little swirl. I don't even know what you want to call this. I just like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to call this at all. But anyway, I mixed up Onyx from, um, what's it called? Glitter Done Texas. I knew I'd think of it. And I mixed that into my epoxy and then I just um, took a popsicle stick and just swirled it all the way around the templar. Um, again, no rhyme or reason. You can just fin finger, finger paint, finger paint this on there. Um, yeah, and just swirl it around. You're going to end up moving a lot of this around some more later. So it really doesn't matter how you put it on there. And then I'm just going to smooth it out not smooth it out but like swirl it around with my finger and like um get it moving around and covering up a lot of that glitter
So once you get done and you're happy with um, how your colors are looking, you're going to let this dry and then you're going to move into your decals. I found this decal on Etsy and I just cut it. I, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. I cut it out using my Cricut. Um, I just uploaded it to Design Space, uh, sized it how I needed it, and cut it out on some gold textured um, metallic vinyl, weeded it, and applied it onto my tumbler. And then um, I um, just did my final coats of epoxy, and we were completely done after this. Um, super quick process. I will definitely be making some more designs like this in the future. And yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. I would love to answer any guys' questions. And if there's something that you want to see or need a tutorial on, let me know that as well. Because I'm kind of like stuck on ideals about what to make. I have a couple for my next two videos, I think. But after that, I'm kind of blanking. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And we will see you again very soon. If you like this video, you can check out our last one here. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. We're all over the place and I'd love to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. 